Roshan was, he was pretty amazing. I got to sit right next to him and he was a member of the Coast Guard for a very long time. Um, he recently was the chief executive usher for the White House, serving under the Bush administration and the Obama administration. My name is Lexi. Lexi. Um, and during your many years in the Coast Guard, what different styles of leadership did you witness and find to be the most effective? That's an excellent question, because I think I've used them all. Uh, the one that I, I believe uh, that comes to mind as the most uh, effective is uh, participatory leadership. Uh, and, you know, there's so many other types, but um, most of my success was uh, surrounding myself with people smarter than I was. And uh, I go back to uh, <clears throat> a major oil spill in, on the Mississippi River. Over 500,000 gallons of oil spilled at mile nine on the Mississippi. And uh, this was the largest spill since Exxon Valdez in Alaska. And I, uh, I, I take a, a lot of pride in, in keeping my folks you know, close hold to me, particularly the ones that, uh, I'm not an engineer by trade, but when you're dealing with a, a, a vessel like this, a huge uh, tanker, cargo vessel, that is spewing uh, thousands and thousands of gallons in the, in the Mississippi and stopping uh, commerce from supplying the rest of the United States and, and killing birds and everything else, uh, you want to make sure that the folks on your staff, the engineers, are, uh, are right there with you, teaching you. So I may be the, the leader, so to speak, but if you don't uh, have them participate in that, not just the engineers on my staff, but I reached out to industry and I made sure that uh, what we call a, a technical term called responsible party. That's the folks that are responsible for the spill. The responsible party, the state, uh, state of Louisiana in this case, uh, the cleanup companies, everyone is at the table sharing in, in, in a piece of that leading this cleanup operation. And I can give you a thousand other examples of uh, how that works best. When folks walk into a room and you say, I'm the boss, uh, you know, be careful because someone like that is not going to last very long uh, unless they, they uh, allow other people to not only be a part of decision making, but also learn. Because you're trying to grow other folks into the position that you finally have ended up in. So, uh, and there's probably other different names for it, but participatory uh, leadership, I, I think, has really paid well for me in my career. He has a strong moral compass. I just really appreciated how he listens to his own internal va like values and um, follows his life like after that, and he really sticks to what he believes is right. He was just such an inspiring figure and he, he spoke a lot about stories of his life and his career in the Coast Guard and his family and all the people he's met and he really sought out a personal connection with each of us.